you can talk about your big performance you had against Arkansas State and kind of were in the zone there, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've kind of been waiting all season. I have a breakout game. I knew I had to come sooner or later, so I'm glad, glad it came. I just wish we could have got the win. You look at your individual stats, tackle stats, say, you know, I want this many this game. If I have this many, this is a good game, or is it just depending on the, the, the offense you're playing? Um, no, I don't, I don't really go into a game saying I need like 15 tackles, I need this many tackles, because usually when that happens, I, I don't live up to that expectation, then I'm really bummed out. But uh, I, I just try to do my job every play, and usually when I focus on doing that, the end re result is usually good. Playing against a run first team this weekend, does that excite you as a linebacker? Hell have a lot yeah. of chances. Yeah, definitely. Uh, smash my football. That's what I got into the game for. Is that your best game as a Vandal? Uh, yeah, yeah. Arkansas State was my best game to date, so pretty excited. Ho hopefully, I could get a bunch more of those. What do you think the defense is doing better um, as a unit than they were earlier in the season? Uh, I, feel, I feel like we're just playing together more. Uh, there's a lot of good communication going on on the field. We're flying to the ball, and that, that's shown up in our, our stops for third down and um, also turnovers. You guys going to go play in an NFL stadium? Can't talk about the, you know, the experience there. And yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm from Orange County, so it's only like 45 minutes away from Qualcomm. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to have a lot of people at that game. Were you a Chargers fan growing up? Or? No, I was no. a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Oh, okay. Oh, so no wonder you like Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that makes sense then. They had a great linebackers growing up. Is there yeah. anyone you try to model your game after? Um, yeah, definitely James Harrison. Just that tenacity and nastiness that he plays with. Uh, that's what I try to bring every day. Not Joey Porter, just absolutely yeah, crazy. Joe, yeah, Joey <laughs> Porter, Jason Gildon, obviously, uh, Lamar Woodley. But once James Harrison got to the Steelers, I said, i never seen anybody play like that. And he's kind of an undersized guy. And just the process that he uh, that he went through in the NFL, undrafted free agent, coming out of Kent State, went to a couple different schools, um, got cut a bunch of times. So just the route that he had to go through, it wasn't the easy way. And he, he's played really well. Just having a breakout game like you had, give you a little bit more confidence going forward? Yeah, definitely. I feel like having a little bit more pep in my step every day now after that. Um, I'm just excited. I, I just really want to get a win. So I feel like if I could play up to that standard every game, it gives our team a better chance to get a win. As a linebacker, what feels better, getting a sack or stuffing a run in the back? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I felt like that fourth down stop that I had in the game <laughs> felt pretty damn good. Bradley said you stole a sack from him. No, yeah. that, that was mine. <laughs> From before the snap, that was my sack. <laughs> Are there any players on the San Diego State team that you grew up playing against or with uh, in the area? Um, there's a couple, uh, not that I play with, there's a couple of young kids that uh, went to my high school. Mission Viejo High School that are playing on the team. Um, 